Hey all, I'm um, just playing the Warzone fan. I was just wondering if the fan's too loud. I've got the fan a bit higher than usual. I don't know if that's too loud. Um, if someone could mention fan too loud. Uh, okay, I've got Twitch tab open. Uh, if you could let me know, is the fan too loud? Okay. I, I got. I'm trying to cool down here. I haven't got air conditioning, unfortunately. Uh, Okay, so um, the speaker hopefully is picking up mostly from uh, in front of it, not behind. Uh, okay, so it's boiling here. It's like being in an oven a bit. Now I'm trying to cool down. It's the Sunday daily, uh, Sunday weekly uh, Warzone final. So there's uh, more prizes than usual. There's a um, hundred prizes. Uh, quite a lot of uh, prize fund. And uh, okay, 72 events. I'm hoping to um, uh, just explain why are we playing. Okay, no fan, no fan, air condition, air con. No. Okay, a minute to go, and um, okay. Um, mm, okay. Uh, 30 seconds, we're in the 32nd mark of this tournament beginning. You haven't missed anything so far if you've uh, just joined this very exciting stream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was fucking around. Sorry. I, I think I'm a bit sleepy actually. I've just had a Chinese uh, takeaway for Sunday dinner. And Sunday dinner is, is now tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and um, so. What can, what can I do after a Chinese takeaway? What can I do indeed? I think I, I still need a good win or two to get into the uh, into confidence of, of the tournament. This opponent's under 2,000. Under 2,000 alert. Uh, that means statistically at least I should have a good good chance. And uh, let's double the cube. Let's double the cube. Is he around? If if uh, he doesn't move soon, I mean this could be the 15 second penalty kicking in. Um, does it have to wait for my time? Ah, oh, no, I got I got the 15 minute penalty. That's good. That's good. The points multiplier has gone up. That's the key thing. Ah, oh, two two nine four. Okay, now it starts. Uh, unless this game's not starting. Uh, is the game starting? Hmm, interesting. Uh, is the game starting? So this guy has won his first game, and I'll try. I'll try. Um, he's gonna play knight f3, isn't he? I was just waiting for knight f3 to avoid playing uh, gambit. Now I do have a tendency to play gambit on three-minute chess because because usually usually it's good fun. I think already um, I might have a good position here. I suspect um, that this is a reasonable position. With good central control, um, good pressure, uh, and his king side um, could be subject to attacks like this. Okay, and if I get rid of the Fincetto bishop, actually D takes here looks looks very very interesting. Um, just to keep that that pin. Um, now can I intensify the pressure with Queen D7? I'm hoping that that's an effective move. Just I've got so many things now on d2. Uh, I just need h4 and bishop h5, and that would be even better. That would be an almighty extra pin here, as well as this pin on the d file. So pin and win. Um, he's thinking. Maybe he realizes there's a slight problem. 
here okay and that probably unfortunately might solve it unless 94 try this anyway I'm hoping Bishop H5 but he's going to move his Queen isn't he to unpin uh, so that isn't such a big deal perhaps as I first thought so anyway we'll get this Knight D3 in maybe positionally it's good uh, for central control and for getting Knight D3 maybe to F4 would be uh, handy to try and weaken uh, the king side again so a knight on d3 is always is often rather not always is often um, an exciting thing to behold so uh, rook takes e2 and rook e8 perhaps or is there anything better let's imagine queen d2 okay so I can take and I can play knight f4 I can take this bishop and then maybe this diagonal is, is weakened oh he's taken there okay pin here so there's no um, okay and can I get away with this I hope that oh, bishop f3 and we're going to get a nothing position very soon um, I need to protect my okay so he's in he's in another nasty pin um, am I winning a piece here I'm hoping that rookie three wins a piece or the exchange as it, as it happens sign the exchange up and the phone is going hello yeah okay see you then okay thanks okay okay bye bye um, right, I think the chase has come back TV program just been informed one of my favorite TV programs but uh, I've got past porn alerts to deal with here I can't be thinking about uh, TV programs I've got to get behind this this past porn prawn past porn <laughs> prawn ah uh, past prawn Chinese style takeaway okay past prawn alert okay rook g1 and his clock stopped oh another, another eight second penalty this is what I need come on is this is this for real so anyway I've got past round two game just about uh, okay okay Shigurin he's got a 2800 rating and a 2200 tournament rating it's really quite unfair I don't know what to do against that guy. He murdered me this morning. Maybe I should just resign without moving because it's about packing in as many games as possible, trying to win as many games as possible. And I don't know. There are some people that, uh, if he's going to get the time odds, you know, if he's like 2800 um, in, in reality, but only 2200 here, well, it won't be that bad, the time odds, but. Um, Hey, what's this? Am I getting another 15 second bonus? I think I might be. I don't have to wait much longer, do I? Oh man. I've, I've definitely doubled. Oh, I have to wait the whole. What's happening here? Am I still connected? I still seem to be connected that's good news but I've offered the double queue and nothing's happened I thought there was a 15 second penalty yeah okay so um oh, I don't know I don't know what to say okay how is everyone there ah uh, so um Oh, that's a shame. What, what did I do wrong not to get the 15 second penalty? Should should I have... Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. I played my move and then I offered the cube. Maybe I should have done the double cube then play my move. I've done it in the wrong order. So I could have had this game over and done with and been on the scoreboard higher. Perhaps if I just doubled the cube first before moving ah, it's a pain see what I mean? e4 then 
then I doubled the stakes. I think that's why I lost the 15 second penalty, Muppets. So I have to wait and for more of the time than usual. Okay. And now what? A connection wait? Oh, don't tell me a connection wait as well. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Maybe that's the issue that I don't know. Okay. A two one eight eight now. And I've just blundered there. He didn't pick up on that. And I just really blundered there. I'll try for a quick um, F4. Shall I? Or not? It might be appropriate. I'm not really totally uh, convinced. I might have just given him given him uh, E5 on a plate. Oh, Knight D6 is possible here. Is it not? Oh, it's Bishop G4. Oh, I've just started blundering. Fantastic. So I've just blundered an entire bishop. Ah, my pits. Is it worth even playing on from this position? Ah, just, just giving myself a real handicap. a nasty intentional trap or something? I don't know. Well, it wasn't even considered a trap. So he's munching. Um, I could just get on to the next game to save time here. Let's get on to that. He's on a good score as well. Let's just get on to the next game. Uh, try not to lose peace so quickly. So a Dutch stone wall here. Um, okay. So Queen eight G five or looks like a sort of routine kind of attack. Um, I think there there is a very strong principle for these uh, to win quickly and lose quickly by the way, which I'm hoping to be strict about. Um, uh, hoping to win more than lose, but uh, principles there. Uh, I've just won the exchange there, although g5 is loose and... Okay, he's not going for it immediately. So if I exchange off and block the uh, bishop, maybe that's best. And then knight here. Okay, so I can try and bring my other rook to f8. So bishop d7 and rook f8. Shigorin's leading the tournament, by the way. That's what I expected. He's a 2800 with a 2200 tournament rating. It's just ridiculous. He completely dominated this morning as well. Uh, okay, so this is easier going. This game. Maybe this diagonal. Oh, okay, don't lose a piece here. Let's win this pawn. Maybe not. Is he gonna go back? So rook f2 or knight e2 and rook f2. Bishop g4, bishop f3. That pawn could be useful. If the knight g3, rook g2 will be made, wouldn't it? Knight g3 and rook g2. So I'm back up there. Still in the top 10. Um, 
super cool 91. He's on one. The D5 here is going to be E6. No. Okay, try and block that E file for a moment. Does he take it here? Nope. I'll just protect that H2 against Bishop F3 and Bishop H2. Can I play for um, anything? Any small advantage? D5 maybe? Uh, I just dropped C5, that wasn't clever. Okay. Um, does he take here as well? Has I got, I got Knight F5 on the cards? Soon? Knight F5 or D6 first? D6 will be good. No, he's got Queen F8 protecting G7 if Knight F5. So, um, Rook C3, Rook G3. Well, D6 first, just to stop Knight F4. Well, I could have waited for Knight F4. Um, okay, is Knight E7 any good? I'm not really sure what it does. In fact, you can probably just take that and let me see what I've got. Okay, um, behind that D pawn, if that means anything, there's Knight F5. Think about. I'll just get prepared for knight f5. Um, very soon, knight f5 or not. In this position, rook d6, knight f5, no. Knight f5 here, if he takes. No, he's not going to take. Um, no! I'm losing my pawns. My poor pawns are being lost. Um, Ooh. What have I done? And I'm down on the clock. Ah, oh, he's going to play knight d6 or something. Ah, oh, did I have knight f5? Ah, oh, let's get a grip on it. What's going on? 30 seconds, 20 seconds down on the clock. My knight's loose now. There's no knight f5. Ah, there might be a knight g6 coming out if his knight moves. For rook e8, if the knight moves. Now, if the knight doesn't move... Okay, there's no... there's no. Um, why didn't I take on d6 there? What am I doing? I can't take on d6 here. Get away from my... Rook. He's not getting away from my rook. I'm just losing on time or something. Queen d6 coming up. Knight f5. Ah, oh, I can win queen almost. No, I can't. Yes, I can. I can win d6. I've only got seven seconds. close wasn't it? Blimey! Ooh, too close for comfort! <laughs> oh. Top GM! My nickname. I don't think a top GM would have two at this moment necessarily. Okay, so can I encourage uh, taking? Can I take the queens off here? Otherwise, what am I doing actually? Um, 
94 for Queen A2 maybe? Is that is that an idea? Bishop D6, just allowing uh, this for F4. Right, if E5, maybe I take and then F6. Try and seal down E5. Knight B5 could be a pain. If I'd allowed e5, I think uh, it's still troublesome here. Okay, that's castle. Timed castle. Um, can I do this? Because I'm on a2. So I'm on g6 over here. I might have c3 on the cards. c3 for queen a2. Can I just take on d7? Am I getting back here? I've got rook c8. Haven't I? Rook C8 and Bishop F5. Okay. Let's play Bishop F5. What about Rook C uh, B4 and Rook C3? Just to sort of block the Queen. Oh, he's on that. He's on my Queen. I've got Queen E3 as a possibility, but I think Rook C3 to block the Queen, uh, and then think about doubling Rooks, uh, and then Bishop F5. Or even Queen um, E3 or B takes. Is Rook C4 if. Ch no, there isn't. No, if check. Right, there's a check here. Okay, so. Um, in this position, I'm protecting A7. Um, I'll just get this off firing line. You can attack my bishop with queen b7. Okay. Uh, I can try and still protect this because I've got queen c1 if queen b7 just in time for b2 as a threat. Um, in terms of the. I don't know, a decoy or something. Rook takes. He's got check winning my queen. Uh, so that doesn't work. What about bishop f5 first? Oh, hang on, I've got to get the queen out. He's going to win my queen rook c8, you see. Rook c8 was a sneaky tactic. Um, I was, he's winning my rook. Oh man, I've just blundered the rook. It's only got two seconds though. That's not the way to win with two seconds. Okay, I'm holding on to 12th position just about after that time win. I thought things were under control, but you know, often they're not. It's just an illusion, there's a lot of counterplay. Uh, I don't really want, I didn't want D there particularly. And he's going to block in my bishop, that's nice. With c4. Uh, yeah, let's play d4, bishop e3, or I'm going to block my bishop even worse. What about c4? I'll get this off there, not to lose the bishop. Maybe knight g3. I don't mind the bishop being taken there. Okay, so knight g5 and. Okay, I'm giving the bishop a diagonal, this one, if it gets compressed like this. It can come out with vengeance, I hope. 
Bishop e4, Queen e2, Bishop e3. Okay, it's already coming out with vengeance here. It's quite quick as well, this one. Uh, so, when I get in Bishop e3 now, and Rook c1, where's the Queen going? Okay, I got Rook c1. I'll just take care. Okay, I've got cheap threats to create weaknesses. Uh, maybe knight f6 at some point. Um, queen, so queen g4 or knight f6. I'm not sure knight f6. Check here. Okay, I'm, I'll give that a shot. Actually, I'm not really convinced after that move particularly. Um, what was the idea of that? Ah, or maybe Queen H5 would have been an idea if I wasn't panicking about it. Ah, uh, threatening mate. I might have a threat of Rook H3. Queen h5 first. Okay, he just does that. Can I try and. Well, if I take this one. Um, and come back for trying to get in Queen f7. Um, now I have to protect. Oh, this has gone bad. Very bad. I don't know why I sacked that knight earlier. There's queen e4 if knight e4 might be back in the game. Or this one. Okay. So I might be back in the game. Queen h5. Um, there's queen, queen f4 for g3. He's gone for this. Wouldn't expect that to work. Um, just get the queens off. Actually, queen h2 would have been better. Okay, so I'm just holding on now. I'm not really getting any uh, quick wins. I'm just just being very jammy. So a 22, I don't really want to draw, especially after that opening. Okay, he's gone for that material, but he's got a weakened e-file, I would hope. Or does he become ultra solid? Hmm. Try and uh, get some files open on the king here. Oh dear. What is this? He's got 97, almost. He's only on 27, okay, on. 97 I take bishops, um, but rookie 8, uh, does that move? <clears throat> Although 97 is looking stronger and stronger pretty soon. Right here, 97, looks as though it's winning material. And on King King move. Oh, he's won a rock. Oh, he's won a rock. I have to resign that. I just won that C6 run, it's brutal. I don't know what hit me there, it's just. Uh, oh well.
it was strange because it started off weird and then uh, and there was that okay so uh, have we got C3 or something or maybe C3 coming up So D4 here. Um, that looks as though I'm being tempted uh, to take that pawn. Okay. But his knight on F5 looks quite strong. Is he going to swap that off? He is. Okay, that's interesting. Can I just reinforce that guy for a moment without getting done over? Uh, if I take that, because otherwise the bishop's kind of strong on the diagonal. Again, I'm, I'm setting myself up with tactical liabilities here. Why do I keep doing this? Um, bishop. Oh, it looks horrible this position. Mind you, I'm on a8 here, sneakily, so rook c3, no it doesn't work. Ok, rook a3, there's a check, that doesn't work. And he's way ahead in the clock over there. I know it's the time mods kicking in as well. Doesn't really help. Um, okay, free here, I guess. There's a move. 29 seconds. It might be rook c3 for queen a8. Possibly. So queen b4. Okay. That's better news than I expected. So a skewer there. Outright blunder. Surely. I don't want to back row mate issue, particularly. I've only got 19 seconds here. Uh, that might have not been. 16, I think pre-move time. Plays a few checks. Pre-move time. Oh, he's resigned, that's nice. So rank 14, but I'm slipping down and just finding this hard going. I was 68 and there's quite a few people. So 28 minutes to go though. <coughs> what about French defence? Oh, Albin, counter guy. Hmm, okay, what about f5 to play this aggressively and then g6? Uh, maybe stop b5. Is he really going to play fair? I've got an d4. So I'm on f2. I can castle. There's no queen c3 just yet. Uh, I think I want to protect the bishop here. And that would open up a check possibility as well as d4. So I'm on the queen, but bishop c4. 
Is that almost winning a piece for him? I oh, know he's not. Okay, can I get knight c3 in here? Bishop e3. There's a knight c3 check there. I can take the rook. I can take this guy. Okay, here. Queens come off, or not. Queen a4. Nope. So he's still got this dangerous diagonal, but I got Queen e4 to get the queens off. Maybe I'll take with the rook. Okay, so rookie two and um, and then what? Rookie four, c six. So bring the king up. All the pawns are on light squares away from the bishop. Uh, come on, get onto a light square. Come on, no mouse there. I mean, a here. Yeah. So undermine c5 and a4. So you can't defend both. Uh, so I pin this guy. I think I just take uh, my pawns. Win. Okay, so 14th. It's not. Um, not good at the moment, another dark wood game. Um, I'm trying for some sort of barrier attack system. The 150 attack. I, I don't know when one is the other, I've forgotten. Someone told me on YouTube. Uh, who knows? Okay. Uh, probably castle now. Diagonal Bishop C4. Oh, he's got Bishop E6. Okay. So would I play so C4 here? Uh, D5, Knight D4 later. Again, I'm, I'm down on the clock against this guy quite a bit. Uh, but I'm getting this Knight's guy Bishop. He's giving me. Might go back or not? What about f5 or knight e4 first? f5 here. Uh, he's going to play f5 and uh, bishop e7. So I get to play f5 without losing a pawn here. Okay, can I kick this queen first? Then f5. That was shut down. I'm just giving them knight c4 now. So what is that? Mm, I'll play a dangerous game here again. Bishop is holding on to d1. If he takes that, I've got rook g7. Oh, he just takes that. Okay, mm, that's unfortunate. And I've really just opened up this d file for him. Why would the d file be any good for me? So we're black, back to trying to win on time. Oh dear, if it's possible. <laughs> Bishop g4? I don't know. He can attack my queen now. It's horrible. In fact, I'm almost losing the rook. Um, let's get the queens off then. Can I win d6? Nope. 
Right, 30 seconds, it's pre-move time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Twenty seconds. This isn't really that convincing. And I've got any counterplay at the moment. Can't see any counterplay. Maybe C five, okay. I've got I can see counterplay now with these pawns. And check me, but maybe F6 is coming up with this B pawn. Four seconds. Why is he down to four seconds? He's not brilliant with his clock. Okay, rank 12. A string of shaky games. So this guy's on 50. Oh, is this going to be a night? Have I got my first ever quick win? No, I haven't. He's not going to resign. Oh, he is. My first ever quick win. Okay, 21 minutes to go. I just need a few like that. Um. Okay, he's playing nice. Positional. It's got that f5 square. I don't really want to commit to d4 here. Um, if I try and. Oh man, knight g3 might be a threat. Can I get rid of that knight? Can I play like this? c3, knight e3? Just to try and get rid of that knight. He's got knight g3 coming up. Okay, I got rid of the knight. Stop queen h4. Maybe king g2, rook h1. Bishop e3, rook h1. Get the rooks off. Both of them. How many real damage happens there? Can I use my space advantage in the ending? I just play queen h3. I do aim for f5 or something. Knight, if I play knight d3 and then play for f5, I play c4 here. All right. So we kind of release the tension. If I do that, I suppose he'll grab that pawn. So is e6 possible? And then king f4, king f5. Oh, I just blundered. Okay. Does he still want to draw? <laughs> he probably won't want to draw now. Ah. He's been offering me draws all the time. <coughs> Actually, I still, I still might have a chance in this game if I can win a pawn back. So maybe it's not so bad. I can win a pawn back and then try and win b5. Okay, he's giving me b5. Can I win d5? Not yet. <clears throat> I'm back in the game though, surely. So I get my knight over here. Um, I'll stop that. What about b5, b6? Okay. So I might be full coming up. Now can my pawn make a move as soon as he moves? I might be queening. I might be queening. 
I've queened. Okay. Bit of luck in this tournament for sure. <clears throat> 17 minutes to go. Um, Sugar is he's just an absolute killer. He's 2800. Normal rating. Um, I can't play that e5 there. I can go into a Dutch stone wall. Oh, I have to take like this, the way he's played it. Because otherwise f5 would drop, which I'm not sure is a brilliant gambit. But in this symmetrical position, I'm hoping uh, this might not be too terrible. If I get my king off there against the tactics on the diagonal, I can look forward to now, hopefully, a good position, knight e4. Okay, I have to indirectly protect this one. I'm not sure that does the trick. Might not. Um, okay, I'm on the night here. Uh, I'm on the rook. That's something to bear in mind. If I can distract this, then queen d1 this check. So rook c8 for queen d1. Something to bear in mind. Is he going to play rook c8? What about rook? Do I play rook c5? To tempt him to play rook c5? Otherwise, I'm going to double anyway. I'm going to double my rooks. Yes, yes, check. Okay, quick ish, quickish win there. 15 minutes to go. <clears throat> so, um, that's what we need quickish wins. This guy's on zero. Hang on. Oh, uh, did I do? Did I do the thing after? Ah, oh, I don't know. Oh, do I have to wait the whole two minutes? Ah, oh, no, I don't have to. I've got twenty as well. That was weird. Okay, that was a good turbo boost. Uh, oh, I'm getting up there. Oh, blimey, it's all happening. Uh, it's all it's all gone strange in that, those last two games. 14 minutes to go. That yeah, was crucial to get those points. Uh, quickly. Uh, I'm not sure about f3 as as a move if d takes. Oh, this is interesting. He'll still go for this Queen H5 business if he's not careful. Or H4 for H5, Rook H5. Is he, is he gonna? No, he's not cracking yet on the H4. I think I'll push the Rook out of the way. Who wants a Rook? We can go for the King. I don't want to undouble his pawns and release his bishop in any case. So he's just given me a whole um, bishop. I'll play bishop g6 here. Yeah. What's the idea? I need the quick mates. 216, okay. 12 minutes to go. It's looking like a better position than earlier. Dobber. Okay. My pet system with bishop d6. 
against this system. Um, okay, can I still strike at that d5 then? So I'm going to play knight d5. Or maybe the c file is going to be handy for e4, bishop e5. Okay, that's interesting. Um, can I do this? I seem to have nicked a pawn there without much resistance. There's d, f there's knight e4 here, or d3. Ah. Uh, I think knight e4 is the more tempting. Is he going to exchange off queens? He's a pawn down. He could take on g7. And that might not leave me with very much. Hmm, okay. I'll try and um, exchange off a bishop here. He's got the two bishops. Getting rid of the two bishops is, is sometimes cool. He's going to win this a7, isn't he? That's going to be a right pain. Ouch. I don't know what to say to that. Oh, he hasn't done that. Why didn't I check him? It's given me some trump cards to play with. Uh, knight c3 or well, d3 even threatening. Um, uh, well, now I'm threatening rook e2 or d2. And he was on that knight. So I guess I'm losing that poor pawn. Um, uh, it's gone nasty. This position. Ah, uh, ninety six to F four. That's a nasty pin. I'll stop Rook C two anyway. And I could lose this painfully, and it's going to take a while for me to lose it. Or I could just resign it. On the other hand, yeah, it's pretty much gone actually. Um, Go on. I've got to get a move on. <clears throat> okay, so this guy on minus eight, uh, suspect pawn moves. Yeah. Break over the centre here for knight e4, queen g3 or something. That was d5. Hmm. I'm just giving away a piece. So knight e5 now. Yeah. Okay, I'm on g2, so bishop h6. Mind you, he's got Queen G2 here <laughs> as a tactical resource. Ah, oh, to win that one. Ah, oh, I missed that totally. Oh man, what is going on here? If he moves the F pawn, have I not got E6 though? So what about Rook F3? Then uh, check and then Rook G3. Okay, I'm tying him down, surely. A little bit. What about this h6 pawn? I 
I can win that H6 pawn. Well, that's a bit of good news. Um, okay. I'll try and double on H7 or something. Try and win this C A6 pawn. What about this sensor? Can I? Okay, I can win the sensor pawn. Take what I can get. D4, bishop D3. It's got a nice blockade or something. Uh, what about rook? Uh, king, king E3. And then no, it's not. It's got a monstrous knight now. D5 blockader. Nimzovic should be proud of his knight. So what do I do here? Uh, maybe b3 bishop c4 to try and eliminate the knight. Um, is he leaving any of his pawns in prey or I think king e3 might be possible? He's a bit short on the clock. He's not too keen. Okay, bishop c4 is very, very dangerous. He's always got rook d3 or rook move. He's trying to mate me with this uh, rook and knight. It's not very pleasant. Is him and his blockading knight again? What is this knight? Nimzovichian torture rack? I'm on. I can't do anything against this knight right now. Ah. I can only hope he loses on time. He loses the H pawn here. I can take that. Um. Five minutes to go. Another strong opponent. Uh. I don't know if they for Finchetto here. Is it F5, F4? And have I lost the game like this? in the past war zone where the opponent played exactly like this and my kingside attack turned out to be nothing um, I can only but try with the kingside attack here, it looks promising intuitively Get um, G file the Queen H4 in. Queen H4 on the cards. That's quite simple for Queen H2. Yeah, it's 2275. Has it been hacked? Queen H2, I'm on the F file. Looks as though everything's come together here. I need really a quick resign. I mean, he's on the high score as well. He's doing him himself uh, badly. If this is lost, I think he should just resign. That he has. Okay. <clears throat> One or two quick wins would be what I need here. Uh, someone on 209. Herring's just getting to be a nightmare. Queen H4, I, I like. Try and go for this gambit. I don't know if the pairing system's been changed or something uh, to get the stronger players playing each other. Oh, that's a bit odd.
I've castled. Hmm, okay. So is F5 on the card? So he's going to blockade, right? He blockades. Will I get E6 for E7? Or he takes an F5. Ah, oh, he's going for my C2 pawn. There's only two minutes to go, and I've got this position to try and win. Okay, he's only got a minute to go there. So, can I put him under pressure here with h3, bishop g4? Or not? As the case may be. Can I get these pawns liberated? This one? Okay, um, he's only got a minute to go, and the tournament, um, oh, have I just blundered there? No, not, not yet. Well, they could play rook f5. Is he making me there? Otherwise I'm winning a pawn, I've got to go for that. Anything. 50 seconds to go. He's swooping up my pawns. Ah, uh, it's painful. The whole game's been painful. Rook C3 would have been better. He's got Rook E2 now. But it's only 30 seconds for the tournament to go, so... What do I do? It's just, I just, I find the pairings, I don't know, odd. In the end. Tournament's over. So I came six. Average opposition only two zero three seven. Maybe I shouldn't be moaning because these are higher average opposition. Some of these, two of these. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.